hi welcome back to my channel i'm going to show you today how i got this look using only the revolution flawless three resurrection palette um so i did literally everything that you can see using that palette which is why i have no lashes um so if you're interested to see how i managed to do it um and kind of my little rants along the way then just keep watching Hi, welcome back to my channel and to Fuck It Fridays. I don't know if that's going to be a thing, but basically I've set myself a challenge, like no one asked me to do this. I don't think any YouTuber has done this either. I just like, I don't know if you've ever used like a liquid lipstick to do eyeliner or to do blush um, because you've maybe forgotten what you meant to use or used um, an eye product for your lips. I've definitely done that on um, I'm forgetting the name, 17th of March, St. Patrick's Day. And I've used green um, eye pencil to do lipstick and to do lip ombre and stuff like that. And I thought um, someone had asked me if you had one makeup product that you could bring with you, like to your desert island or whatever, like what would you take? And I was thinking, well, what would you take? Because you take foundation, you're just gonna look daft. You're just gonna have like <laughs> even skin tone. Um, if you take like lip tint, you know, like all these different things. And I thought, what could I do like the most with basically was where my thought process went. And I'm sorry, cause that was super scattered. But I kind of thought, could I do almost a full face of makeup using an eyeshadow palette? And that's, that's what this video is. Me attempting to do a full face of makeup using very specifically Revolution. Um, I'm using the one, it is the Flawless 3 Resurrection Palette. 32 professional shades. Um, and this is the options we have here. So I'm, I think I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try this challenge that no one asked me to try with these teeny little eyeshadows. And I'm gonna tell you which ones I'm using to do what. Um, obviously you've got no primer, so <laughs> there'll be no priming involved. Um, and I don't know how I'm gonna pick up any product because obviously it's like such a tiny thing, but um, I guess I'm gonna use this brush. This is a Real Techniques brush and it is 403 for what it's worth if you ever plan on taking an eyeshadow palette anywhere. Um, and I, I'm i quite pale so I'm going to use the shade New Birth. Okay so this is really weird because I just recorded a whole section and a whole spiel um, and I'm actually kind of annoyed now but um, I guess it disappeared so we are where we are. Um, hi. If I haven't already said that, I'd probably do an intro separately. I am today trying to do a full face of makeup or as close to using an eyeshadow palette. One eyeshadow palette. It is the Revolution. It is called the Flawless Resurrection 3 palette. And I'm about to use the shade New Birth to try and do foundation with the 403 um, Real Techniques brush. <laughs> this is gonna take forever. I'll speed this bit up for you guys. Maybe. Maybe you'll just have to go through it with me. It's very good coverage for an eyeshadow. Okay, um, so <laughs> fairly good coverage from the eyeshadow, which is crazy. Obviously we normally say pigmented for eyeshadow rather than full coverage, but you know, it's not what we're doing today. I have only one who's like, I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually impressed by the coverage of this eyeshadow. Um, what will I do next? Will I do my eyes next? 
See, I planned this very well. I'd normally do my eyes next after I do foundation. So yeah, let's, let's do some eyes. Um, actually, that's a lie. I would do brows next. I'm going to use the shade N. No, I'm not. That's so dark. Don't use that. I'm going to use the shade Reanimation. I'll show you it. It's this little guy right here. And I'm going to use him to do my brows. So just take my little angular brush. I definitely do this cheat anyway. Um, if I forget like a brow product when I travel, I'm like, okay, well, I have a matte brown in there somewhere. Please excuse my laptop completing in the background. Um, I did get my camera back up from London. Um, and it turns out I can record on my camera and it's really high definition, like more high definition than anyone would ever want. Um, and also it takes up a lot of the um, space of like memory and it takes forever for it to actually attach to send to an email. So I'm currently trying to send myself still from two days ago, um, one video worth of files so that I can have them on my phone because I pay for an app to edit my videos it's called Cinemaster and yeah you can actually get that on laptop so I've either paid for something that I'm not going to be able to use or I'll be using my iPhone camera um, and continuing in this low def which I think I prefer because you know it just blurs me automatically but kind of besides the point when you're trying to show people makeup Maybe it would, this, this wouldn't be as, as good coverage, maybe, <laughs> on that. Okay. I mean, it's, it's not the worst. One of the worst braids I've ever done. Yeah, using this same brush, I'm just gonna wipe it off. Using the same brush, I'm just gonna take that same shade I was just using for my foundation called New Birth. And I'm just gonna do the same thing I would usually do with like concealer, um, which is accidentally get it in my brow. No, which is just do the outline to just make it that little bit sharper. So I guess it's like acting like a concealer right now. The one thing that if you do decide to try and do this, which like, I don't know why you would, but if you do decide to emulate me, um, you have oils on your face that you wouldn't necessarily have in your eyes. So you might find that um, you see a little bit of um, texture change to the top of your eyeshadows. You can easily like fix that, but it's the same if you apply using your finger, you'd see a texture change. So it's definitely workable. Okay, so that's my brows done and now I'm going to do my eyes and this is actually going much better than I had anticipated. Um, to do my eyes, I'm going to use a shimmer and a matte and I don't want to use any of the same ones. So my shimmer, I'm going to go for Reactivate, it's a slightly pinky one, it's this girl right here. Oh look at that side view of my face, how attractive. This girl right here and with her... I'm gonna do, I really wanna do Triumph or Believing because I wanna believe I'm gonna Triumph. That's basically. Maybe I'll do both. I'm gonna do Triumph and Believing. So this is Triumph here. It's this orangey, burny shade, and this is Believing here, the pinky shade, um, which probably should be my brush and um, blush even. So I love a life of regrets, but whatever. I'm actually taking my blending brush to do this because I've just watched um, Bailey Sarian and that's how she seems to do it. She just does like, ooh, like a little sweep. And her makeup's always so beautiful. I don't have a ghost story for you, but like, I mean, I can make one up if you want. What I'd like to know is like, what everyone's been binge watching. Cause I know that everyone's been binge watching a ton whilst we've been in like lockdown or whatever. And I'm kind of interested to see where everyone went with it. I started to watch um, Supernatural. So I'm like super into this ghost story vibe of Bailey. Which is kind of where I got to binge watching this. Okay. So I've like super blended out this shade. In a way that I wouldn't normally as well. Like I'm actually doing like the sleeping. 
And then I'm just adding Triumph a little to be dabbing to the outer edges. So Triumph is actually really pigmented and went like a long way. And then, this is crazy. Then I want to use the one I said Reactivate. So I can't use a setting spray because that doesn't come in this eyeshadow palette. And that's what I'm doing. I'm doing everything in this one eyeshadow palette. So I'm going to use this brush, which I don't know what these are actually for. I don't really use this except like when I was a kid. The only other time like I've tried to use it is when I do liner, I like these brushes. But it's literally the ones you'd get in like Primark sets. I just think that it packs, like it takes like so much of like a color that I think I might want to get away with it. Um, obviously again, I don't have anything to do like a cut crease. So I'm like winging it, I'm just winging it. And we're gonna see how it goes. I'm really not mad at it. If anyone else has any ideas for like a challenge that I could do that's like a little different or even the same as other YouTubers have done. Cause like, I don't know. I like to test my creativity. Um, and I don't know. Yeah. I just like to do challenges. I'd like to know what other people could come up with. Or if you think that I'm just weird for doing challenges. Just feel like it's the time to do stuff that's a little out of your comfort zone. Like if you've spent this whole lockdown just watching Disney Plus, like good for you, Disney Plus is excellent, but it's just not, it's just not enough for some people, hey? We're all different. Done like a million online courses okay um so what i'm gonna do because i can't really cut crease this is go back into the shade believing and i'm gonna use this brush again because i just did without thinking and i'm kind of just gonna go to the edge as though i've done like a half cut crease and then i'm gonna start to blend it a little Cause we never used to use all these products like when i was young we never used to use all these products i used to be kind of creative with makeup like i used to do like all little leopard print things and like try and be all cute and like this is me at like 16 like we didn't have cut crease that's i don't i mean maybe famous people did it i don't know but like we the normal people like the the little people we didn't do cut crease um i've just done I mean, something that I kind of appreciate. So I said I used something like a liner, like I've just put it on its side and lifted some of the product like this. And I've just basically made the line sharper where I'm like almost like pretending I've done a cut crease. Which is honestly surprisingly effective. Like, I mean, I'm not gonna pretend that this is what I would always do or like my new method but I really don't think it's bad okay I'm gonna use um the blending brush again and just dab and take the color underneath I would hate to do this with only one brush maybe that's my next challenge like trying to do all my makeup with only one applicator too imagine trying to do <laughs> imagine trying to do a cut crease with your beauty blender Nope, nope, nope. I'm really not mad at this and it's confusing me. Um, I'm going to take, is it revitalize? Yeah, no, reactivate. Revitalize, I just made that up. I just want to take that shimmer shade basically. Um, I am going to use this brush again and just do it underneath and do a little dab the inner corner mascara is going to be an interesting one it's going to be a mascara free look um okay let's do contour 
I'm really interested to see how this works out. I mean, like, I know you're watching my video, but I'm interested to see how this works out. Um, so for my contour, these colors are very intense. I am going... Hmm. I'm going to use a shade N, which is very, very, very dark. Um, but I'm going to use a shade N, which is this, like, burny shade here. I'm also going to use the shade Resurgence, which is this taupey shade. Um, and I'm using the same brush as I did for my foundation. And I'm just taking the darker shade first. When you're actually doing contour, it is not best to do your darker shade first. It is easier to do your lighter shade first and then blend down. Um, but I've done it now. This is just the dark shade I'm doing, which is N. I'm still following that like rule of three. I'm gonna do nose contour. Yeah, next level. Oh my god. What do I do with my life? Like, this is my life. What did you do in Philo? I did full face makeup. Easy in their shadow palette. And I'm still not mad at it. Like, again, it's not, not my favourite look. But I've seen makeup worse than this. Like, I've seen makeup worse than this. So I'm going to go over again with my foundation shade because you need it because this is my foundation concealer I just need a bit more coverage Um, but the shade I'm actually going to use for my lighter shade is going to be my Rebirth, which is the second palest shade in this entire palette. It's this one right here. And I'm just going to use that for my under eye. Okay, so iPhones are Satan and apparently I was running out of data and it just stopped my video. Didn't warn me, hadn't told me in advance that I was running low on like space in my phone. I'm like, why do I pay you extra money for cloud if you can't even store over the basic that's in my phone? I don't even understand. I'm mad now though. So I did my lighter shade, which was the um, under eye. Um, and I did that on my nose, on my forehead. I'm just almost going over it. I did my lips, the shade I did on my lips. I even deliberately did it with the pigment packing brush and showed you me going around with the concealer shade, which is Rebirth. Um, but I used Baste, which is this one here, to do my lips. I used this brush here. Um, and I did a highlight, and I'm actually obsessed with it, and it's shade Recovery. It's this shade here. And I'll even show you because, like, you can never have too much highlight. Like, how, like, how, how nice is that? Like, that's, it's not even highlight. Like, I don't know why I keep calling it highlight. And I'm using this brush that I've never used before, and I told you all about how I just use it because it's pretty, and, like, you don't even care anyway, but, like, I did all this work and I did my brush, my blush, sorry, I called it brush that time as well. And I did shade Believing to do that. So I've literally not even duplicated any of the shades for anything I've done just yet. Um, and you've missed the whole fun of me having to blend it right out because that shade, it wasn't, was it Believing? That's not true. It was shade On, sorry. It was this shade, the deeper pinkier shade. And it was literally so bright. <laughs> and I had to like buff out my brush and stuff. <sighs> I hate iPhones. I just want to say that again. Like I hate iPhones. So what I started to do before I realized that you guys were no longer with me was use the shade The Renaissance, which is the darkest shade in the palette. Um, and it's a super dark brown shade, but it seems to be going on almost black. And I'm just gonna use that like an eyeliner. Um, and I'm literally just almost imitating what I did before now, but like not imitating because I need to go over the color. The issue with it is that you do need to kind of top it up. 
so although it might be pigmented like if you were putting it somewhere on its own because I'm layering it on top of other shadow it's not a super strong finish well actually do you know it's not bad it is not bad so I'm just going to do the same over here except you know quickly before it cuts me off again why would it not just tell you? Like, why would they not just give you a warning and be like, hey, your iPhone's nearly filled. Do you want to delete some stuff, sis? Or... I feel like my life is like such a palava and a drama at the moment and I don't want it. I just want things to be nice for a little bit and easy. I feel like it's just been stress after stress. Wow. They're not even, they're not even sisters, so I need to bring this one up a little. Yep. I think what I've done is here. Madness. It's madness. I'm gonna use, I have, what are these? How do I plan on doing that? I, what I want to do is basically put colour onto my lashes, which is usually the opposite of what you want to do. How do I want to do that? I'm going to use a Real Techniques brush that I don't often use because I'm like, what are you for? Um, and it is... Oh my god, am I a grandma? I can't move this. I have no idea. It's like a teeny little one of the one that I used before and I, I actually cannot read what the brush is and I'm just gonna put it directly onto my lashes and it's having it's actually having some effect interesting so I guess almost as like if you dye your lashes but like there's nothing for it to cling to hmm can we see a difference between the two eyes not really hey eh? maybe like a tiny, tiny difference. So it wouldn't work in place of a mascara. We've learned that. Um, let's see if I can use my angled brush because what other brush would I use? And I'm gonna take the white shade. It is called Resurrection. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and put that in my waterline like an absolute psychopath and hope that my eyes don't water. And that's like my white liner. Definitely just flooded myself in the eye, but like, it's worth it. I can't believe that I've done all of this and just, with just eyeshadow. Kids are gonna think I'm crazy. But like, I'm kind of, I kind of like it. So what happens if I just curl my lashes? We're just exploring together today. Like, welcome to what happens in my room when there's no one else here apart from me. I'm gonna use my eyelash curler, which I never use. Like, I have it, and I know that I should use it, and like, you should do it before you do mascara, and I, I mainly wear mascara, but like, I almost never use this. So, this is cute. Like, <laughs> yeah, the lack of lashes is kind of killing me, but I think it chose a good palette to do this. So yeah, I'm gonna give up on this now before my um, camera cuts out and I'm kinda, I feel like I've, I've done everything because the only thing that I can't do is my lashes. So yeah, thanks very much for watching. <laughs> Sorry if this was like madness and for my like minor rant in the middle and my iPhone decided not to record me anymore. Um, if you liked my content and want to see me do more silly things and try new products and do actual cut creases, then please feel free to both hit the like down below and subscribe. If you leave the bell notification on, you will get an update whenever I put on a video. Um, and that's it. Yeah. Have a nice day. Thanks very much for watching.